Hey guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. Yes. So we've had a lot of requests and we thought we would just show you guys <laughs> what we eat throughout an entire week. So let's dive right in to our first meal of every single week and every single day and that is smoothies and or juices. Yep, so we typically juice only green juice and we only do it once or twice a week so yep. it's not a huge staple and we don't use it as an entire meal. If we do juice, we usually also do a smoothie or smoothie bowl with it. Yep. So mainly we're gonna talk about smoothies here. We've got two favorites that we do kind of <laughs> interchangeably. We kind of alternate between this green tropical smoothie and a green blueberry smoothie. This blueberry smoothie is like so tasty. We put a little bit of celery in there. It gives it kind of a sweet, salty taste. And then we usually also throughout the week at least a couple times do like a pink smoothie bowl Erin calls it like her bubblegum smoothie bowl that we top with fruit nuts like seeds all the goods And again something that Max always enjoys too Usually the staples that go into any of our smoothie recipes would be Bananas other frozen fruits like mango pineapple or if we're doing the blueberry We'll do wild blueberries because yep. they're super high in antioxidants yep. We also make sure to throw in those healthy omega omega-3 fatty acids in the form of flax and or chia seeds. Yep. And then lately I've been throwing in, like Dusty said, celery because it adds a little salty kick and celery is incredibly healthy. I've also been putting dulse flakes into our smoothies, which is just a sea veggie. And it's a great form of iodine, which can be hard to come by in the diet. Totally, and smoothies can come at any time of the day. So we always start our day with juices and smoothies, but I usually finish a workout with a smoothie, and depending on what time of day that is, that could be at 4 p.m. sometimes. We also occasionally do smoothies at night. So we sometimes call them nice cream if it's like an after dinner treat, but let's be honest, it's a smoothie. So again, don't be afraid of the fruit. We are high carb creatures. We do smoothies all day long. So another component we never forget to add into our pre-workout shakes, our smoothies, smoothie bowls, and nice cream is a good scoop of plant protein. Totally. You guys know we've been longtime lovers of Sun Warrior. Yep. It's all raw, USDA organic, cleanest ingredients out there. And besides like all the added health benefits and all the good things that are actually in Sun Warrior, it makes everything taste amazing. We seriously love the vanilla. We'll put the link below. You guys can get a discount if you use our code, Eat, Move, Rest. Number two is oatmeal and or waffles. So this is something that is kind of new for us. I think because of Max, we started doing a little bit more cooked food, especially earlier in the day. You guys know that Aaron and I used to be more raw till four, but Max really loves his oatmeals for breakfast or slash lunch. And I have kind of followed suit, usually eating oatmeal for lunch every day. And or like we said before, Aaron's amazing waffles. So both of these coincidentally have almost the same ingredients. Yep. So we always kind of say, if you get bored with your oatmeal, yep. make waffles instead. Really simple and straightforward, usually oats, ripe bananas, a little crack of salt, some vanilla bean, maybe a little touch of maple syrup or some dates for natural sweetener. Yep. And and blend up if you're making waffles or just cook it right up on the stove top. Right. Tastes amazing. Yep, and then you can't go wrong with a little bit of cashew butter. That's both Max and I's favorite for those healthy fats. So next is not exactly a recipe per se, but this <laughs> is one of the reasons why we love the raw tell for lifestyle so much is right. because it takes less prep, less no cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can just grab and go most of the time. So we tend to just eat raw fruit and vegetable types of lunches yep. slash kind of just graze throughout the day since we are at home a lot of the times. Totally. And even when we're on the go, we just grab things out of the refrigerator like fast fruits as we call them. Bananas, apples, oranges, things like that. Right, and when it's hot and sunny, like obviously it is right now, summertime, again, we just had a lunch of stone fruits. Peaches, nectarines, cherries, bananas, like it's unreal how much good juicy ripe fruit you have <laughs> and how much it can actually like fill you up, how quick it can fill you up too. And also in the summertime, like Dusty said, so many fruits being in season. I have also done mono meals of watermelon yeah. for breakfast, for example. It's a little difficult being 37 weeks pregnant now. <laughs> you already I have a watermelon say, yeah. in there. <laughs> but there were times when I would sit down, cut a watermelon in half and simply eat that before I went on my six mile morning run, you know? <laughs> So you can honestly make a whole meal out of just fruit, believe it or not. 
totally. I love just eating fruit again because it's calorie rich, which is what we need, but it's like super light. So it doesn't weigh me down as like sometimes waffles do. We get a lot of questions too about like fasting or intermittent fasting. And occasionally in regards to like these fruit meals that can be lighter, just the other day I was out and about, I took with me, I skipped breakfast, I didn't have a smoothie, I took with me an apple and orange, and then I had some coconut water. And so that gives me some calories. What I love to actually add into my coconut water or sometimes just plain water is another Sun Warrior supplement that we seriously love, which is called Liquid Light. So Liquid Light is basically just like a mineral rich like elixir. It's got a bunch of super healthy things that we're probably not getting from our water these days. Along Along with your fruit loaded lunch, you <laughs> could also keep the balance by adding in Sun Warrior Super Greens, right. shake it up in a bottle, and the benefit of liquid light being added in as well is that the liquid light helps optimize absorption. Right. So you're getting these extra greens with extra minerals and proteins, <laughs> and liquid light will help that assimilate in your body more efficiently. Totally. So especially for, again, being a pregnant mama who's having aversions to her favorite raw rainbow green salads, <laughs> something like the greens powder has been tremendously helpful. If you want to go more veggie heavy doing a raw rainbow salad can be helpful we always yep. recommend picking one or two greens of choice and then topping it with two to three veggies of choice and then a healthy fat so you can make your own simple dressing with just simply tahini and lemon or whipping up avocado with salt and pepper and garlic powder and maybe right. a squeeze of lime totally number four is probably my favorite Me well too. it's it's hard <laughs> but th these are always super good Buddha bowls and or like chipotle style bowls like a la carte so we usually make a giant bowl of rice grill up some tofu soak some black beans cook those in the instant pot again chop some veggies and kind of have them all separate and then you can make like we just said a buddha bowl and or a chipotle bowl and this is super easy last a few days in the fridge and is so tasty especially in the heat of summer you guys it's like it feels like a hundred degree heat index here today <laughs> it's so hot um these Buddha bowls are great because you can just dish them right out of the fridge, not having to reheat, and they're right. almost better that way, I think. Totally, yeah. Again, like nothing's better than like a good warm like Chipotle bowl, but like Aaron just said, I'll eat it cold and enjoy it even more, especially on a hot day. So okay. it's nice to have leftover. And the fun thing is they give you a variety of tastes and textures yep. and different nutrients. I always feel the most nourished and the most satiated from these types of dinners yep. because you're getting your protein, your fat, your carbs all in one dish. Yep. And we typically say to go by this formula, pick a green grain, a bean, a starchy carb and a healthy fat and then whatever seasoning you want to top it with. Totally, so again, like Aaron said, those are almost always the same, but you could put soy sauce on and make it Asian. You could put curry and make it Indian, or use like a taco seasoning and make it like Mexican, like Chipotle, mm -hmm. and it's just all awesome, so simple, highly recommend. So the two Buddha bowl style meals we made this week for you guys <laughs> were a simple quinoa and veggie medley with some air fried potatoes, which are one of our favorites, yep. air fried sweet fries. So good. <laughs> and then some mashed avocado. Oh, and then you also baked some uh, tofu. Right, baked some tofu in the oven. And then tonight we're actually gonna be making, again, chipotle style bowls. So we're gonna be doing Mexican. We've got some black beans soaking now. Again, cook those up in the instant pot with a big thing of rice and chop some veggies. It's gonna be delish. Number five, if it was a different time of year, I would probably say <laughs> these are my favorite. For sure. A little bit more like cold and fall weather style meals are soups, stews, and curries. So similar to the Buddha bowls, these are also very much the same. We just switch up the spices and make them like slightly different and they're so, so good. Right, so with these soups and curries and stews, this is where it comes in very handy to have a great spice arsenal. So right. <laughs> stocking your cupboard with all kinds of goodies to make Indian and Thai inspired meals. We usually start these types with a base of red lentils because they really thicken it up. Sometimes right. we use green lentils, but we really love the red because they almost kind of dissolve and make things really thick and hearty, yep. protein and iron rich. Yep. And then we'll add in potatoes and or sweet potatoes. Yep. We always saute onion and garlic for that added flavor 
tons of other veggies like carrots, beets, and celery. Right, so similar to the Buddha bowls, like I said before, a lot of the ingredients are the same, we just change the spices. But the nice thing about these giant one pot stews is that they serve as leftovers just in a different way. Like as opposed to having a bunch of different separates, you have this one giant pot that sometimes lasts us two, sometimes even like three nights of leftovers, which mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah, so this cuts down on the elbow grease you have to put into <laughs> cooking every single night of the week. So again, going back to being pregnant, you are into the meal prep, meal planning, and food storage, these stews are gonna be your best route to take. Yep. Usually what we'll do, at least for the last pregnancy, we would eat half of the stew one night and then freeze the other half. And so we kept doing that for a few weeks yep. and built up a bunch of freezer meals that were ready to go when Max was born. This time around, we've been a little bit more relaxed with it so yep. far, but I would highly recommend doing that if you are expecting. Staple meal number six <laughs> is gluten-free pasta. Yes. So Dusty has always been a pasta lover and as of late, I have too. It's been a pregnancy craving. Yep. We always try to go with something other than wheat pasta. So we really love the lentil and quinoa varieties and brown rice because they're all just more nutrient dense. Again, going back to that high in protein, high in iron. If you're seeing a trend here, yep. it just, you can never have too much, yep. especially during pregnancy. So we have three different sauces. We do a classic red sauce, classic Alfredo, and then a mix that's red and white combined kind totally. of. Totally. So my red sauce is super simple. I buy a jar of of tomato puree, chop some onion, garlic, basil, oregano, throw maybe a can of diced tomatoes in there, and occasionally I'll cook some green or black lentils on the side and make kind of a bolognese sauce. And we actually have that recipe, as well as most of these, mm -hmm. in our recipe ebook, if you guys wanna check that out. My favorite has always been like a fettuccine Alfredo, so yep. I found a really awesome low fat and high protein version. You yeah. actually blend up a can of white beans with some soy milk, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper and garlic powder and yep. that is literally it you guys it tastes incredible yep. and it's a much healthier option than what you would find at a restaurant totally and we'll saute up maybe some asparagus some broccoli any type of veggies some squash some zucchini mm -hmm. and throw that on top of the alfredo it's actually what we had last night and again, this is a really super family-friendly and kid-friendly meal. Yep. Kids love noodles of all shapes and sizes and sorts. So this is one of Max's favorites. Totally. So probably our favorite meal as of late is this vodka-free vodka sauce. So it's <laughs> kind of a red and white mix. So I've been buying penne and I'll throw one or two boxes in depending on how big we want the recipe to be. And then I'll do the red sauce with, again, some soy milk and kind of a mix of a few things that make this incredibly tasty but creamy sauce and everything actually cooks in one pot. It's like the best of both worlds. Again, you have a bunch of leftovers and Max especially loves this one. And I think everybody loves this one. This yep. is a great one for entertaining because yeah. it makes a big portion size and everybody loves it. Even my dad who, <laughs> you know, agrees with our diet but doesn't eat this way right. loves this recipe it's so hard he's always the person that we're trying to impress and we had the whole family over for mother's day recently and we made this and aaron's dad could not get enough so we were like come on so if you guys want to see this recipe as a standalone give this a thumbs up let us know in the comments so last but not least number seven not really a meal more of like a snack sometimes a dessert can be a meal, especially for Max, mm -hmm. are muffins. Mama's muffins and baked goods. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I'm notorious for making my weekly batch of muffins on either meal prep Mondays or <laughs> Sundays that last throughout the week. Right. Max especially enjoys these. And like yeah. Dusty said, they could serve as a full meal for him. Totally. Um, they're super nutrient dense, gluten free, all the good stuff. I yep. add in bananas and usually like strawberries or some other type of berry, like blueberry. Adding these muffins in, I should say too, is something that I often do if we're doing just like a raw fruit style lunch. These puppies are dense, like probably 300 calories, packed full of protein, iron, all the goodness. Put a little cashew butter, again, Max and my favorite, on top, and these are so, so good. Highly, highly recommend. Yep, and they also have nut or seed butter in the ingredients as well as chia or flax eggs. So you are getting yep. healthy fats in there as well. Totally. If I'm not making my muffins, then another fan favorite is my homemade Girl Scout cookies. Oh, so, so good. It's a take on the Caramel <laughs> Delight or Samoas, depending on which part of the country you live in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're used interchangeably, but they are super, super good. So, so delicious. All these recipes we might add for about 99% of them are in our plant-based recipe ebook, which right. you guys can snag 
below. We actually have a special where you can buy all three of our eBooks for a special discount. Get totally. the eMove Rest bundle. Yep. It's all linked below. So I should also add, when we go to the grocery store, we don't usually have our recipes for the week listed out with ingredients. Right. Instead, we just opt to purchase the staple foods that we're used to eating every single day. So right. we can kind of decide what kind of mood we're in. If it's 105 and we were planning on making a <laughs> stew, yep. plans might change. So we just like to have all of our bulk grains and beans always fully stocked. We always love to have whatever fresh ripe fruits and veggies, especially in season, yep. on hand. So rather than like getting too specific with recipe ingredients, we just try to have the basics always on hand. Totally. So hopefully this can help you guys kind of meal plan and prep throughout the week. And don't forget to add in those healthy date nights. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful, you know the drill. Give us a thumbs up, leave us some love, some friendly comments below, and share this video with anyone you think might also find this helpful that would be amazing you guys know the drill eat move rest your best bye guys there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better eat move and rest we're dusty aaron max and Bo, and we're the stanzik join us every week as we blend chop juice run, lift, ride, and master our minds on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.